Good evening, traders from around the world. It's Ricky Cadden back again with another free real life stock review with Real Life Trading Australia. I hope you guys had an amazing weekend and are ready to crush the markets this week. And speaking of the markets, uh, last week I did say um, back here on the SPY or maybe it was on the E minis, I did say that most likely we would get a push higher and then a roll back down. So when this bearish candle did come in, I really hope you guys took, a, uh, took advantage of that. Um, we'll zoom into the five minute on the intraday to see what really went on. Um, it was fairly bearish straight out the gate. As you can see, we did have a nice level of support here pre-market. And then as soon as that broke down, you very well could have taken your entry below this, uh, you could have taken your entry below the low here with a stop above here, like entry and stop. Or if you were looking to play the five minute candle, an entry below here with a stop above here and take your two hour profit here. So a lot of opportunities here. Obviously we did get a nice double bottom and then a nice quick little afternoon rollover. Um, and at the moment, if I just take a look at the daily, we still probably could come down a little bit further. Um, if I take a look at the E-minis, we are currently fairly neutral. Um, if we do start to sell off and come down a little bit lower before market open tomorrow, um, then I would actually look to fade this gap. So if we do get a gap down on SPY to around 286-ish, um, I would actually be looking to play that bullish just based off this nice little support level here, this big long lower shadow there, and obviously coming down to the 200 uh, simple moving average on the daily chart. Uh, so keep in mind, uh, we have we did fall 1.5%, 1.5% just today. So if we did drop down a little bit further, it would be more than a 2% drop. And uh, yeah, definitely a dip buying opportunity. And right now it's still fairly, fairly neutral. Let's take a look at the Dow Jones, the DIA ETF. Um, we did come down and fill this retest gap that we did create. Um, so that was good to see. Most likely we will probably come back down to the 200 and look to bounce. And one we haven't looked at in a while is the IWM. Now the IWM is, would you look at that, back at this support level at 146.80. It's never bounced off this area before. Um, so I mean, what to do here, guys, buy low, sell high. Uh, this is a very nice distribution phase, nice little consolidation that we are in right now. Um, and IWM hope will probably gap down tomorrow with the rest of the markets. And we'll just look to see how we play it from there. Let's take a look at a few stocks. Here's MU and MU having a beautiful evening star reversal pattern right now. Um, and fairly weak. Uh, we haven't got very super strong volume and we have, we were, we could be potentially looking to create a double bottom here. Um, but personally, I think we'll probably come a little bit lower, maybe to the 200. So if you are looking to buy, uh, maybe look to buy off the 200 or the 100 simple moving average on the daily chart. Here's AMD. AMD, another one that's been consolidating. We are currently at 28.23. I do expect us still to come back down to about 26, guys. Um, just, I swear, I believe the price level should probably be. Um, oops, I'll just close that. Oh, what am I doing here? Ah, oh, stay on page. Sorry, guys. Um, so from here, guys, I do expect us to most likely go down a little bit lower. Um, at least to the 200 and maybe even a little bit lower, throw in some lower shadows at around 26. So look to buy the dip. AMD is a very strong company. Uh, we do have earnings coming up though, guys. You can see right here just before November. So bear in mind that it would only probably be a short-term play unless you liked holding over earnings. And if so, look to protect yourself with put options. Here's McDonald's. Now, can't be bearish on cheeseburgers. Um, we are currently forming a very ugly looking head and shoulders pattern. Um, is this going to roll over? 
who knows? I'm not overly bearish on this company. As you can see, pretty much most of the time goes up. Pretty much all the time goes up. Um, so if I was looking to, if if I was looking to take this thing bearish, it would be only very short term. Um, they do have very good financials, and I do expect them to probably trade sideways in a range for a little bit of, a little bit of time. Uh, we do have earnings coming up, so they do tend to show very good earnings. So if we do get a gap up, I'd probably look to either, uh, depending on where the, where we gap to, um, I'll either look to fade or or uh, trade in the direction of the gap. Here's Cisco, ticker symbol CSCO. Now, uh, Cisco, what's interesting is we are below the 200 simple moving average. And on the weekly chart, we're at the 100 simple moving average. Now the week is not over yet. Obviously we're just at the very beginning, not looking super great for Cisco at this current moment. Um, if we do close below this bearish candle right here, this big bearish candle here, um, then I would expect us to come back down to around about uh, this support level here at 41. Um, so right now we are, we are currently closed below the 100, but Probably just keep your eyes on it, guys. We could potentially bounce off here. We have bounced off here before off the 100. Um, so it is a very nice dip buying opportunity. You are currently buying, if you were to look to buy, you are currently buying at a 20% discount from the highs. So it's not a bad time to get in. However, I just do believe that there is a better buying opportunity around the corner on Cisco. So keep your eyes peeled look for your patterns and look for volume. Make sure that we are getting some nice volume at support areas because right now it's fairly weak, but we are only at the start of the week. Let's take a look at Johnson and Johnson on the week. On the weekly chart, we are bouncing off the 200, the 200 simple moving average and kind of just consolidating. Not a whole lot to see here, guys. We have come up to the 100 simple moving average on the weekly and also on the daily chart. We did resist the 100 and 200 simple moving average. So that will be uh, a level two um, look to either take profits if you are playing this particular channel right here. Uh, sorry, this particular channel right here. Just look to buy low, sell high. Earnings just around the corner here on the 15th. So um, keep your eyes peeled on that. If we do get a gap down to around 128, I'll be looking to buy. It would be a very nice dip buying opportunity and it is at a very nice support resistance level. So keep your eyes peeled on that, guys. Let's take a look at the all odds, the Aussie markets. And we did get a, uh, we did get a close um, below, we are, we, sorry, we are currently below the 100 simple moving average on the daily chart. Um, I did mention this back here that most likely we will come up and could potentially resist the 100. Most likely we will chop around a little bit here with the markets being slightly, slightly bearish. Um, but I still do think this is just a dip. I do not think this is the market going to fall off a cliff. Uh, so still be long guys. Look to just buy low, sell high and all odds is looking, looking very, very nice and choppy. Let's take a look at SAR. And here is a really, really lovely trend that you want to be looking at. So on the weekly chart, pretty bullish on the daily chart. Um, we have been bouncing off the 200 for quite some time. As you can see here, we have bounced around here for, for a while. Is this going to be another, uh, another area where we just launch and go higher? Who knows? Um, best thing you can do is mitigate your risk. Personally, I don't think this is going to happen. We do have decreasing volume, as you can see here. Um, so most likely this is just going to be a very nice consolidation phase like we had back here and probably going to then slowly go higher in 2020. Um, keep, but keep your eyes peeled on this guys. Just look to buy low, sell high. If you're a long-term investor, um, around three, around the 200 simple moving average at 330 is a very nice dip buying opportunity. Let's take a look at good old Afterpay, ticket symbol APT. 
and APT just doing what it always does goes up and has a small little dip and then just keeps going higher. Um, on the short term moving averages, guys, if you are one to buy off the 20 EMA, um, as you can see here in the past, it has been a it has been an area where as we do start to run up, we do tend to bounce off the 20 EMA all until we close below it with volume. So if you are one to buy off the 20 EMA, here is obviously a dip buying opportunity for you. Um, me personally, I do like to buy a little bit more off the long-term moving averages as the risk to reward is a lot greater. Um, but from here, guys, if you are looking to buy the dip, um, short term probably, short term probably just buy off the 20. Um, but obviously, if you want to buy off the 100 simple moving average, still a fair while, a fair while to go. Probably only going to get that if we do get a bit of a bit of a market sell off. Um, but APT still looking fairly bullish. Uh, we do have a little bit of lesser volume up here, which makes a lot of sense. We have come up very high uh, in the last few months. And uh, yeah, so APT um, probably look to take profits if you are in shares. It is a very, very good, uh, it would have been a very nice gain if you bought back here or back here when I was speaking about it as well. So there's APT. Let's take a look at the banks. CBA and CBA just chopping around. Like I said, uh, we are going to probably stay between the 100 and the 200 for a while. Um, here's a good level two. Believe it or not, probably sell some covered calls. Um, you probably want to sell them above 81, above the 100 if you have any premium there. But most likely, we are just going to chop around here sideways for a little bit longer. And here's an interesting one, Flight Center. Um, just gone skydiving today and free falling like a crazy person. Look at that, guys. I do not know what this news is about. I did try to look this up. I'm not sure if they've maybe dropped their dividend or if they've reduced their dividend. I'm not entirely sure. But if you take a look at the five minute, what's really interesting is they actually gapped intraday. So they, they opened um, for the first 25 minutes. And then they actually gapped down and sold off massively. So um, super interesting. I guess I'll kind of find out what that news was about. Uh, we did obviously close below this particular trend line here. So most likely uh, we will uh, look to go a little bit lower. But we are currently at a support level. So just keep your eyes on Flight Center, guys. We definitely could crush a little bit lower. On the weekly chart, we're below the we're below the 200 on the weekly chart and on the monthly chart if you were looking to buy um probably off the 100 simple moving average on the week on the monthly chart would be ideal which is at 3901 so keep your eyes got keep your eyes peeled on this one guys is starting to dip let's take a look at app and limited apx uh we'll take a look on the daily now we still have not uh, filled this gap here uh, we are just chopping around sideways. Makes a lot of sense. Fairly, fairly light volume. Um, so we're probably going to just chop around sideways for a little while. Um, no, no real bullish signals at this point. Just keep an eye on volume. And uh, this is a very nice dip buying opportunity long term. So if you are a fan of Appen, I know a lot of people are, uh, then obviously this is a very nice level to start legging into some shares. Let's take a look at Santos, ticket symbol STO, obviously feeling a little bit of the heat um, in the last couple of weeks with the oil sell-off. Um, but right now we currently are at a nice support resistance level. I don't, I do think we probably will start to bounce shortly. We are almost at the 100 simple moving average on the daily chart. Uh, and on the weekly chart, we are in a fairly, fairly nice trend. We, we did come back down to the 100 simple, and this does look like a very nice little S-curve-ish pattern. So I do believe that we will slowly, slowly, slowly grind higher on Santos over the years. Let's take a look at Coles Group. Now on the daily chart, back here, we did have a beautiful 
beautiful uh, dip buying opportunity off the 100 simple moving average on the daily. Um, right now, we are a little bit extended. I do expect us to either chop around sideways, let the moving averages come into play, or potentially roll back down to the 100, by which that would be a very nice dip buying opportunity. And as you can see on the weekly chart, looking fairly extended. Um, and we have had a very, very nice, oops, we have had a very nice one, two, three, four, five wave structure. So I do expect there to be a nice little ABC correction and then um, a very nice dip buying opportunity on Coles. Let's take a look at their rivalry. Wow, Woolworths. Here we are creating a nice little um, double top pattern here. Now I did say, uh, I think it was on this day back here when I did the review, I did say that Woolworths, this is, I said that this is most likely going to be the top on Woolworths for a little while um, and most likely will come back down to the 100 simple moving average. We are currently just chopping sideways. The 100 simple moving average will slowly come into play. Um, but if you did take that analysis and you know, maybe look to short it up here and look to buy low, then well done to you guys. But Woolworths, still in a very, very bullish trend, but right now we are just currently consolidating. Let's take a look at the commodities. Oil, crude oil, um, not doing a whole lot. I did say that most likely we, we will chop around here for a little while, just like we usually do. Um, we did get a very... You know, we did look like we were going to start to bounce here, but obviously V bottoms on oil, on crude are very, very rare. Uh, they do normally chop around sideways. And I did say that you probably would get a little bit, of, you know, a few days, maybe a couple of weeks to get in long. So if you are looking for a long opportunity on oil, keep an eye on your oil stocks. Um, and or if you trade Forex or, or futures or commodities, then obviously this is a nice dip buying opportunity for you. Let's take a look at gold. Now gold is looking fairly, fairly neutral at this point. I did say this probably would be a very nice S curve, S curve pattern long term. Um, and I still do believe that is going to happen. We are currently creating some lower highs here and some lower lows still yet to bounce um, and, and kind of launch out of here. Probably going to be a little bit more time, maybe a couple more months. Wait for this 100 simple to come into play. Wait for uh, gold to kind of consolidate a little bit more and build that pressure up. But definitely, um, definitely keep your eyes peeled on gold for a long term, long opportunity. Let's take a look at the Aussie dollar, uh, the Aussie dollar. Last but not least, and right now, just doing what I was saying here. But most likely, we will chop around sideways. Um, if we do come back up to the 100, guys, you know that you know the drill. Um, it does look like a short opportunity up there, um, but obviously, right now we are just chopping around sideways. Not a whole lot to see here. Small little bullish candle today, but um, overall fairly fairly choppy all right guys that's it for me i hope you enjoyed this review i'll be back on thursday with another free real life stock review and uh if you want me to take a look at any stocks or review any tickers commodities pairs forex you name it i'll be here leave it in the comment section below and i'll review them for you on thursday and until then love life live life and trade it i'll see you all soon bye